I'm a poet. I'm in it for the money. <laughs> There once was a boyfriend named Bob who had a most sought-after job. When with him one night, she screamed with delight till she wore out his small on-off knob. <laughs> Poetry always has, always will. Poetry, a literary fruitcake, or is it like a shake and bake, like an earthquake that flattened the baker's cake, flattened it like a flapjack under a flat jacked up, to reveal the punctured participle, a screw picked up on a long trip over a short time, fast like lightning lit ablaze, or slow like slow-mo, stuck on slick snow. Poetry, when it don't let go, will get you up any hill. It always has, and it always will. <laughs> it comes. A light bird with an iron will, hovering in a crystal stillness. Wings a mere vibration in time. They hum with a song of their own, a translucent song belonging to no other. When I think it no longer flies, it comes out of nothing soaring. When I think I have been, become deaf, it taps me on my mind in silence. Like time itself, it taps me with its iron mallet on something that vibrates within. And then it sings. Something more than words. Something more than belief. Something more. Then I know I have the song in me for another day of flying. Don't give up hope. Respect, my brother. Don't give up hope. Even your enemy could someday love you. Even the captain of a slave ship could now deliver you to a new beach of freedom and stand with you to disembark into a reconstructed land of peace. Respect, my brother, don't give up hope. Even the founding families could ask for forgiveness. Even we of the old churches who ignored our own tenants could now sing with you and preach the golden rule. Respect, my brother, don't give up hope. Even the brutal few and many could deliver on their promise to serve and protect. Even a government ruled by a false god can fall to its knees and rise reborn to create a new deity in a better likeness of you. <clears throat> One minute. Time on Mount, on Mount Rushmore. It's time to carve a new face in old rock, placed by a new calling for an ancient longing. Time for light in an old soul to be made whole, one with a young spirit. Tied to an old virtue, anchored in a bright light born from darker days. Risen from dark earth, the scene born first outside of now and living fully leafed everywhere, now made manifest by the truly free, carved on the side of hearts larger than mountains, made by a daily climb with a small hammer and a sharp stone chisel. <laughs> 